viewers, welcome to Soul Special for a special report. This is the 28th birth or born on the 28th day of any month in any year. Okay, so if you were born on the 28th or birth on the 28th or you birthed an idea, you know, maybe a relationship was born on the 28th, you know, or uh, something occurred on the 28th, this report is for you. So it's the first time it's been done. And um, I hope that you can gain a lot from it. And I hope you enjoy it. And as I'm shuffling, prepared for this report, go ahead and support the channel by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you very much. And we're going to start out with a Spirit Vibe Oracle message to get things rocking. And um, let's see what source would like for me to relate to you so this is birth of born on the 28th day of any month in any year okay maybe you birthed a business you know that's your baby right that's your child uh i don't know maybe you were born on the 28th of a month okay so let's see what's going on what message the source have for you and your oracle message is Arrested Development. This is a popular card that's from this deck, Arrested Development. And then you have Microwave, okay? So there may have been some highs and lows. I'm also getting the word radioactive. Um, you know, there may have been some... I don't know, some high joys and some low lows. But this also deals with, to me, uh, gratification. Okay, so you want it fast, fast, fast or something instant. Okay, uh, I'm getting the word gratification. Let's go ahead and pull your soul card. All right, let's see what's going on with the soul. And when it comes to the 28th for birth and born, top and bottom. So something was birth. On the 28th, we're going to start with that. If it was born on the 28th, you know, like some people say, we were doing this one thing. We was trying something out. And then um, this business was born out of this particular uh, exercise or this experiment. Something was born out of it, okay? And it could have happened on the 28th. I don't know. It could be in February. It could have been January. Who knows? But if it's a birth, this is your soul card. There are no names. Okay. If it was born on the 28th, this is your soul card. Okay, so give me a moment to just adjust my intuitive thinking. And again, I'm seeing something for those that are birthed on the 28th or something was birthed on the 28th. Uh, there's a high regard here. Your soul has a high regard for intuition, okay? I see helping hands, open hands. It's like, come unto me, you know, come unto me. Um, I'm here. Your soul is like, I'm here, you know. Uh, I, I have a lot of insights, okay? Okay. Uh, I can guide you to your future, okay? Um, it's almost like uh, like a Jesus ethic, okay? Come unto me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, okay? Rest for your mind, rest for your soul, give you a certain kind of peace, but I keep getting, I'm here. Your soul is like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to help. I'm here to lend a helping hand. And maybe you was born to do that. Uh, you certainly have been um, in a holding cell for this kind of development. It, it kind of puts me in the mind of... Uh, the missing years of Jesus, or uh, there is the um, I won't get into the book right now, but there, you know, there are lost chapters 
from the Bible that are in other books regarding Jesus, where he had to be under that arrest development to go through certain tests and trials before he was really able to go out into the world and give himself to his leadership, okay? That's why he was called Rabbi. He was the teacher, right? So I feel like some of you come to teach. Like I said, you're highly intuitive. Your soul wants to help guide other souls, you know, Come unto me, those who are uh, heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. They're like, you like open hands here. But something that was born, the soul, is definitely being the mind, the, the mind, the different voices have been crying out. Okay, maybe this is something, because I see a smile on your face, and I see that your soul is has been crying out for this answer. Okay, for this, I'm getting the word foundation, for this particular foundation, you have perceived uh, that people need you. Now, this could be one and the same, birth and born, okay? This could be one and the same. Uh, there has been mental anguish over this, but I'm hearing a lot of cries, also, a lot of harmonic tuning. Some of you, I'm hearing girl group from this, like your soul wants to sing. It's like I'm getting different cries and different songs. You know, sometimes people cries come through music, come through song. is we're definitely dealing with change here. Your soul is ready for a mental change. And I keep getting fine-tuning for both the birth and born, okay? And for those, something that was born or if you were born, or an idea was born, it's like you're at peace mentally. You're at peace with the hollers and the yells, the cries. I don't know if these are personal demons. But it's like something is crying for change, okay? Something is definitely crying for change. Let's get you uh, an astrological house card. We're going to get a couple of them. Let's see where all of this is coming from. Let's see where it's leading. Okay, source, top and bottom, please. We're going to shuffle that again because I wasn't certain about that. Top and bottom, please. Just be clear, source. Where is this going? You got Scorpio in the moon in Aries. You got two moon signs. Hmm. Do I need to pull any moon cards for you? Okay, so with Scorpio moon, which deals with persistence, imaginative, sensual, observant, Dynamic, reliant, discipline, and spiritual qualities. Uh, the Scorpio moon are idealism, ambition, and determination. Your memory and sense of judgment are keen. Sensual and magnetic qualities allow you to attract things you are passionate about, including people, careers, or hobbies. Your energy is intense, imaginative, emotional, and intuitive. You observe and quickly evaluate everything around you like a hawk, diving after what is needed to thrive. Your thoughts are transformational and often generate change. Your susceptible ability to see beneath the surface brings new perspectives, which may be inspirational to others. And that's what I see with the birth side of the 28th, okay? The Scorpio moon here. That's why you're like, come to me. I got the answers. You know, I got what you need. I can get you on your way, 
but you can only lead people to the water. Like they say, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink it. Okay? You can't make them drink it. Now, on the born side, you have the Aries moon, adventurous, active, energetic, competitive, confident, motivated, motivated, idealistic, spontaneous traits. And Aries moon are energy, optimism, confidence, and decisiveness. You think impulsively and take instantaneous action to achieve goals that are important to you. Your energy is always on the go. You perform well under pressure and are willing to take chances to see what is possible. You are strong-willed, ambitious, resilient, enterprising, and can be successful in business matters. Your thoughts are idealistic and constructive. You live with passion and your positive leadership qualities inspire courage in others to pursue their own goals with hope and confidence. And this is on the born side. To me, it seems just right. Okay? With the peace that you have uh, within your mental peace. Um, because you, 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 you're taking in what you're hearing. I, I feel like you know exactly what to do with it. And that's why you appear so confident in this. On the birth side, I see a bit of sadness and uncertainty here, um, you know, because you got something to give. It's something you've been going through a lot for, you know, it's just like any artist or anything, you know, when you have something to offer, you want people to take advantage of it you know what i'm saying but not take it for granted but you want them to take advantage of it we have feminine and masculine qualities here as well so like i said this could be a double portion for somebody because on the born side i see a lot of understanding here i see both sides have a lot of understanding but there's a lot of understanding for the born for the birth there's a lot of compassion being um, released and, and, and really prepared to share this compassion. Your energy is intense, imaginative, emotional, and intuitive. Didn't I say that in the beginning about the intuitive side? Okay, for those that are birthed or on the 28th. Okay, let's get you some moon cards. Top and bottom, dear source. Birth and born on the 28th. Okay, that could be any month and any year. Birth and born on the 28th. You know, for the born side, I see people kind of... You're taking in people's ailments, you know, their concerns, um... Whatever is disturbing them. I don't know if you are in psychological fields or not. Um, and I feel like this, you're thinking that that's what you want to do. Those are the types of people that you want to help. People that have been tormented. Maybe if you've been tormented in the past and you understand that dilemma. You under, I'm getting the word psychosis. You understand that psychosis. Okay, moon energy, Taurus and Pisces. So this is how your emotions will be swaying. I don't know if it could be all year. I mean, I just call it a moment in time because there is no expiration date when it comes to these reads. They're called special reports. Okay, and it says the moon in Taurus, now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters. And I feel like for the birth so this is kind of what's in common with here I am. You know, you have something to offer. You have something to give. Um, and you want people to take advantage of whether, whether, whatever it is. These are healing hands. Maybe you are into Reiki, spa words, massage therapy. Here I am. I got what it takes um, to give you healing, to uh, make you a better person. I also see your soul is like, Lord, here I am. You know, use me. Again, use me. 
the son of man cometh, okay? The son of man cometh. Uh, moon in Pisces, all right? Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies, okay? And I see that in your soul card. You're not allowing this ghoulish, uh, tormented energy to affect you. You just... I see you being very understanding, taking it in, hearing the cries, hearing the howls, hearing the groans, you know, because some of this mental, um, somebody, there's a lot of people just in hell, they're, they're tormented, okay, and they're trying to torment you, but you're not allowing it, okay, you're just taking it all in, okay, and you are digesting and dissecting okay because I, I really believe you feel you can use it and you just try to stay in the positive energy okay you perform well under pressure and are willing to take chances to see what is possible you are strong-willed ambitious resilient enterprising and can be successful in business matter sounds about right Okay, let's get you some angel numbers. Let's see what's going on. Birth and born on the 28th. What's the angel numbers? Give me some angel numbers. These numbers can um, relate to anything. Dollar amounts, mileage, uh, the year of something. Maybe the year of somebody was birth and born. Um, an address, uh, subscribers, customer, clients. I don't know. Okay. 3933. 3933. I don't know. 3933. They're all uh have three as the primary number. Okay, three goes in three one time, three goes into nine, three times. All these threes. Now threes are ruled by Jupiter. Now, this could be a lot, you know. Maybe you had your fool of something, you know, and now you're trying to turn it around. Uh, uh, you, you're definitely trying to be a benefit to others, but I feel like there is a bit of um, an abyss here, you know, un not knowing, you're kind of in the dark. Not really knowing what's going to happen, even though you, you're quite ready. And a retreat may also be involved. You may need to pull back a little bit in these with these numbers. Now, specifically where and with in what manner, I do, I do not know. You may need to retreat for a while and uh, over, re, re, overlook your plans. Um, maybe you just need to take a break from your worries, which I see in the born side of, of this read. Because there is a bit of conflict in this. Now, for some of you, this is internal conflict because... You know, after if you've done the work and gone through the hell, you really expect the payoff, right? You expect things to happen. You expect um, your energy to attract that which you can work with. But I kind of see you in a holding cell. You know, for those of you under arrested development, you're like, Lord, I'm here. I'm waiting. You know what I'm saying? Um... Can you show me how I can use my hands? Can you show me how to walk my path? I'm, I'm here. You're all ears. You're all ready. You're very open. Okay. But there's major change involved in this. Okay. Uranus is somewhere hidden in all of this. But there's definitely benefits to what you're going through, whether you see it or not. There's definitely some type of benefit, some type, something very helpful for you that you may not see right now. 
You may not, uh, you may be uncertain about, but it, it, it will appear when it's time. I'm going to pull you a movie card. See what you face with. What are the elements of this read through the movies? Okay. Earth and born. Give me two. Top and bottom, please, source. For birth and born. The movies. Okay. Birth and born. The movies, dear source. Not that one. Okay. Okay. Cinderella for birth. Born on the 28th, Memoirs of a Geisha. Okay. <laughs> memoirs of a Geisha. Okay, Cinderella. Cinderella was in Arrested Development. So was the Geisha Girl. If you ever watched these some really good movies, okay. Cinderella was first produced in 1950, 1999, and then in 2002. And we all know that she was at the bottom of the basement. Okay. And she did what, what, what was expected of her. Okay, and of course she had some haters, but those haters were right there in the home. Okay, they were supposed to have been family, even though they were stepsisters. They still considered family or extended family, right? But in the end, she got her her prince. So there are elements of Cinderella by being in an arrested development situation. Remember, I was like, Lord, here I am. When are you going to come? I'm, I'm, it's, it, it will show up. It will show up. Just like it did for Cinderella. Memoirs of a Geisha. She had fallen in love with the man who was one of the suitors, of course. And um, she, too, was under arrested development. They both were like little house slaves or maid servants. Okay? And... Um, there was an older geisha. And I felt like, you know, that there's sometimes there are souls in this world that just kind of know. And they're instantly intimidated by you. Okay. Uh, whether it's your looks or who you are, but it's something about your spirit, your soul or something that makes them want to treat you nasty. They don't really have a reason, but they just want to treat you nasty. And I feel like it's because internally they know something. It's funny you have the Pisces moon here. But she had to push through all of that. But in the end, she won. After going through all of that slavery, both of them was kind of in a state of slavery. And um, she ended up getting the love of her life. Both of these you end up getting the love of your life. I feel like that's what's going to happen. After you go through these tests, you're going to end up with the love of your life. But you got to go through something to get it. And you know what she just told me? And both of these women ended up well off. <laughs> ended up well off. Okay, so let's ask some questions. So if you are birth or born the 28th in the sun element of the sun. Okay. Fire element. What is the question? Stirring the pot. Okay, we stirring the pot. What is the motherfucking question? Who scares you the most? Who scares you the most? All personal questions. <laughs> I'm first thing I heard was God, and then I heard my mama. <laughs> that should be fear, not scared. It's a difference between being scared and fearing. Okay, I feel that you should fear God. You should fear your parents. With me, with fear, there's a level of respect. But when you're scared of something, you don't respect it. You don't love it. You don't like it. You don't want it next to you when it scares you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But for somebody or someone's, 
That's the motherfucking question. Who scares you? Okay. So we're going to deal with earth elements. Okay. Earth elements. Earth elements. What's the question for the earth element? Who gives off a first impression that is most different from who they actually are? Mmm. Who gives off a first impression that is most different from who they actually are? Be interesting. You know how people be like, well, when I first met them, I thought they was really nice. And come to find out, they was mean as hell. <laughs> they low down as they want to be. But they come off real nice. You really thought their first impression, they was really what they appeared to be. Okay? First impression, you thought somebody was clean. You know, they looked like they was clean. Then you find out they don't take baths every day. They don't brush their teeth. <laughs> But the first impression was like they was all together, you know. First impression, shit, they looked like they was paid, like they had it going on. Then you find out later on, they driving their mama's car, they hanging on, the, on their best friend, <laughs> hanging out the ride on the best friend's side, being a scrub or something. Okay, so for air element, air element, what's the question, source? Air element, what's the question? So um, maybe something was birth or born during Gemini season, Libra season, or Aquarius season, okay? Birth or born in air. Birth or born in air. Who do you think wet the bed the longest? Now, why is that important? <laughs> I don't know. Who do you think wet the bed the longest, okay? Oh, but ain't no grown people doing that unless they have medical issues. That's different. Who do you think wet the bed the longest? And then again, she's telling me this could be uh, sexually related. Okay. All right. For water element. Water element. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces elements, okay? We started out with fire, which we know is Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and Leo. And then we had the earth element, which is Taurus, uh, Capricorn, and um, Virgo. Water. What's the question for water? Okay, there's too many source. What's the question for water? Water. Who do you think cried during Charlotte's well? <laughs> Man, that's what you listening to. Who do you think cried during Charlotte's well? Who do you think cried during Charlotte's Well? That's somebody who got some real emotional feelings, don't you think? All right, we're going to get two more, two more questions here for a birth and born. Things. Okay, things. Things. Top and bottom source. Birth and born. What's the question? What's the analysis? What's the assessment? What should we be thinking about? Things for birth and born, please. What's the question? What is the thing to think about? Birth and born, birth and born. Birth, things you want to do before the night is over. Things you want to do before the night is over. I don't know if that's every night or just at this moment or some moment. I don't know. Things you want to do before the night is over. Sounds very general. Born. Things that tire you out. Things that you're thinking about. Okay. Let's get into these cards and see what's going on. Source. I need Oh, 
come up with a challenge. Birth of born. What is the special message? Okay, we have the seven of cups or seven chalices. We have ooh, the tower card. We have the um, fool. We have the, uh, this kind of like my, my, uh, it's kind of like my syllabus card. It's like my learning card. Okay. It's part of the learning. You have the moon card. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the King of Scepters. You have the Six of Swords. And you have the Emperor. Okay. Your underlining energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Conflict and Blessed Energy. Let's see what's going down. It's going down. Starting new, starting fresh. I'm either uh, This could be a newcomer because I know with being birthed, you're looking for people to come. You're looking for people to serve. You have an open hand. You want to do things in life. You know, you have a lot of intuition that you can use, um, not just for yourself, but to help others. And you rely on that intuition, okay? This intuition probably was actually... I see a lot of compassion here. You got a lot of uh, fight in you, you know, a lot of energy to, to, to do the damn thing. And a lot of you have grown in your intuition during this uh, arrested development stage, okay? Uh, it came as a shock for some of you. Some things were destroyed. Some things were um, just your whole life changed, okay? Sudden change out of nowhere. I don't know if... Um, it's because you lost your job. I don't know if it's because, you know, of catastrophes, you know. Uh, this can also be dealing with your mind. Something comes to mind. A truth could have shattered your thinking, Okay. And I see you going somewhere to learn or someone coming to you to learn. Okay, it's kind of a force here. Again, we're talking about arrested development. We're talking about this shock here. Which is, and then I say there was a Uranus in these cards, even though I didn't see it. It showed up, okay? Taking a chance uh, and taking a leap of faith here is what's going on with you. Because you want to learn about your personal power, okay? And where you can expand that personal power, how to expand that personal power. And you have a lot of choices, okay? Some of you, this may be in regards to work. This may be in regards to your personal pleasure, what you want to do in life. Not necessarily chasing a job that's telling you what you got to do, but you chasing the things that you want to do. I'm here in the border. Some of you may be going to the border. And I'm keep and I keep getting magic from this card. So maybe some of you do want to study magic. You waiting for magical things to happen. Definitely someone has been practicing magic on you. And you're ready to go. You know, you've learned a lot from that. You feel aspired to take a new path, okay? And that's what's coming out of this born card with all the, 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 the yells and the screams and the hollers and the harmonic sounds. And because um, some for some of this, I'm, I'm getting music, like choir music. For some of it, I'm getting this anguish. 
Maybe this is who do you think cried during Charlotte's Web. Okay. I don't know. But it's about the magic of something, something magical happening, like in Cinderella. You know, something magical happened. Uh, with Memoirs of a Geisha, it's kind of like um, a desire. Uh, something that you, because that, I believe this, the, the girl that was young, she prayed for something. And this is a prayer manifested, okay? But for some of you, you're going to be looking at your options because something definitely has been destroyed. Something definitely tried to bring you down. Something definitely came to you as a matter of fact, okay? Like a realization. Like I, I got to get, I got to, I got to get out of here. I got to start anew. I got to go. Some of you are being led by your ancestors, okay? Some of you, your ancestors are leading you. Definitely the divine is leading you to make this journey, okay? This could also be part of a retreat. You know, you're feeling rather called in your soul to take this leap of faith, to take this change. Definitely there's an eclipse evolved here. It's a partial eclipse. And we do have a lunar partial eclipse this year, but it's not until October. Matter of fact, October the 28th. Isn't that funny? Wow. So something between October the 28th and 29th, either somebody is arriving or you're leaving if you're masculine. Okay? I'm sorry, you're feminine. This is a feminine. But this is a masculine in this card. So either you may be leaving. That, remember about that retreat? But it doesn't come till around October. October, November, December, January, February, March. March to April of next year, of 2024. Because it's like somebody realizing, I got to get out of here. There's just no options where you are. You got to go somewhere else to get it. Okay? And the Six of Swords, uh, it's a lot of, again, mental anguish here. It's not the best place to be. It's not the best place to reside. Uh, there may be a sense of loneliness here. And I'm getting like somebody or some area is very angular, whatever that means. I just feel like some of you, they're trying to sacrifice you in some type of way. Oh, guess what it says in this card? Okay, it drew me to it. Every will that lets itself be governed by the instincts of the flesh abdicates its liberty and is bound to the expiation of its errors. On the contrary, every will which unites itself to deity in order to manifest truth and work justice enters even in this life into a participation of divine power over beings and things, recompense, eternal of freed spirits. And this is a freed spirit, okay? This is a person that wants power over themselves. And is moving instinctively through the world, okay? I'm going to go here. You know, uh, a free spirit. And that's what you're taking on right now, a free spirit to go wherever you're being led, however you feel you're being called, okay? That's part of your magic here. 
Now, leadership and authority. This could be your job. Uh, we got the emperor here who's a bit of a powerhouse. Okay. They are the cause of these options. That's working your will. That's synthesizing you in the magic of life. And I said something about ancestors. And when I think of ancestors, I think of East. And this emperor is looking to the East. This deals with um, origins and belief systems and, 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 and even magic. So some of you may be wanting to actually play with magic or become a magician. So that's part of the entertainment world as well. But this is, a, I keep hearing this is an establishment. It's a, a company or organization that's been around for a long time. Um, this emperor could also represent uh, something about cooking. And I feel like there's something very ancestral about this cooking, about how you cook. You know how they have family traditions that's passed down from generation to generation to generation. In the end, I see something about a good night's nice kiss. <laughs> okay, some of you may be um, meeting a celebrity or... There's also seems for some that, that there may be a bit of a hizzy over boundaries. Okay. I'm also getting um, hotels and hotel rooms here. Okay, wherever you're going, hotel rooms. Because uh, I, I got the Eight of Swords. It's kind of like trying to figure out the route where to go. This could even be dealing with your GPS, you know, which route is better. You have a couple of open windows here, but you really have to think long and hard about what is the right thing for you. Because I feel like wherever you're going, you're traveling. You're getting the hell up out of here and you're traveling. You're going somewhere. Hotel fees uh, will be part of that journey. But I feel like there's, there's like a love. I don't know if you be thinking of the love that you left behind. Or you're meeting the love of your life. Again, we talked about that Cinderella and memoirs of a geisha. This could definitely be going to meet somebody that you dreamt of. You dreamt of this person. This person dreamt of you. When they see you, they kiss you like, like you're not around, but maybe they kiss the TV or this cell phone screen or a picture. It's something, but they be kissing you. Okay. They be kissing you. <laughs> that's cute. All right. Like that's my baby. 
Also, something about kissing your stars. Good night, you know. Um, stars also deal with what you're aligned with, okay, which deals with your dreams, okay, where you want to be. Okay, just like the memoir's obligation. They had a dream of their priests, you know, coming to save them, to take them away from uh, that dirty, cool world that they lived in, that, 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 that bondage that they were in. Some uh, uh, dream of enterprise that you're working on, um, that you're going after, uh, is the cause of this romance that comes as a surprise. I, I feel like you already know about this romance, even though it hasn't purely manifested. I don't know if you saw it in a dream, if you prayed for it, but it's showing up. I feel like for some of you, this is you leaving because of this magic. And then it's it, it's also dealing with your will. I don't know if for some of you, I don't know if this is a love potion, like somebody's been using. moon magic because you know the moon deals with romance the moon is a representation of love I guess I better say what was coming to my mind because uh, she was pointing out cry who do you think cried during Charlotte's will? Well, you know, Charlotte passed after um, making her will, her home for her children. And uh, they were very sad for her loss because she was very wise. Charlotte was very wise. So this, 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 Loss could be partial. You know, you don't really see that person as much anymore, even though you know they're around. You know, because you can have people living in the same city or right down the block, they don't see each other. And, and they family, you know what I'm saying? They don't see each other. But your underlying energy got a lot to do with resources, the things that you have stored up. For the day, for the day to come, whether it's the day that you're going to leave for Christmas, for travel, you know, for sick leave, for whatever it is, um, there, there are, there is, you definitely have a hedge about you, you have a financial hedge, you do have support, but it's not like you can just, and, and I'm also getting storage, storage, you know, but for sometimes for, to assess, uh, these resources you gotta ask for permission even if it's your money okay but it's all about building a hedge building financial security having something to resort to resort to in the event of okay that's the underlying energy and where you're going is probably where you can get it but there is um some uncertainty and some type of confusion That there's some cloudiness uh, in this moon car, in this moon energy. I don't know if it has to do with this love or, you know, where you're residing. It could be both because maybe this is new. It's like entering a marriage. Okay. But that's what happens. Cinderella and memoirs of a geisha, you basically enter a marriage. And this person may already have a wife. Okay, because if you're in other going, moving, going to the border to other countries, the the culture and beliefs are different. It's not like Western society, okay, where there's one husband and one wife. You have more than that. You are bigamous, right? You can go to jail for that. But in other countries and religions, that's not so. And you may be entering 
a covenant like that. Something about these dogs. Something about dogs. You know, there may be a bit of competition here for the love. There's a bit of competition. That's the confusion. It's a bit of competition here for the love. For the love of you. Okay? But some of you are going to be surprised by all of the options that you have. But be careful about what you choose, okay? Because uh, there's definitely some strong male figure here. Okay? It's gone through a lot, you know. Um, very much established. This can even be a university. Because some people do go to the border. They do go to other countries to learn. And this is definitely spiritual studies, occultic studies as well. And whoever this emperor is, the person in charge, the commander in chief is opening that door, is giving you or this person these options. This opportunity to come on in, okay, and 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 learn something new. Oh, that just caught my eye. The course of time is marked by ruins. Okay. The course of time is marked by ruins. Okay. It was ruined. Something was ruined. Okay. Just throwing it in there. But for some of you, this uh King of Scepters. He is the shock in this love. He's a businessman. He's a go-getter. He's It's a gift. He may be coming to pick you up, feminine. And this comes by surprise. That's the number 18 again. We said that 18 in your number, did we not? 39, 33. 18, 18. Mm -hmm. Which to nine, this comes by, even if you're expecting it, this comes by surprise. Even if you have a slight clue, it's still going to come by surprise. I still feel like for some of you, somebody was using some kind of magic on you. Try to force you to come to them. And this, this for some of you, this may actually happen. The conflict is justice. I feel like you are, it's this new beginning, judging whether or not you need to take this step, take that leap, take that leap of faith. You know, them showing up in the picture could be the shock, you know. Because um, you've met them before. Because Cinderella met that mate before and this memoirs of a geisha, she was really too young for the man at the time. But she knew who he was. You know, if this is for you, you know who they are. And the conflict is about, for some it's about, is this the right time to go? A22 could be of significance to you, okay? It'd be the 22nd of August. 
when this decision is made. Because remember, there is a partial in October. Now, this stuff can happen beforehand because you have to understand that eclipses happen for six months. And we had an eclipse already, okay? And that six months hasn't died out. And it won't die out until the next one comes. Um, but this is, a, 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 like, I, didn't I say you saw this coming? You knew it, but you just don't know when. The, the When it happens, it's the shock. That's a conflict. Could be about the timing. You know, maybe you don't feel prepared, but maybe you're going to feel forced about it. This is weird. It's about justice. Conflict is about justice. You know, everybody wants justice. They want the wrongs righted. I'm also getting something about pedestal. Also, maybe dealing with a pedicure here. I don't know where that's coming from. Judging by how you look. How you look when you show up. That's going to be important to you. You know, that could be a conflict. You know how people are like, does this look right? How should I be? Is my hair, my toes, is everything perfect? Conflict. I don't know, because maybe you got meager means. You know what I'm saying? Um, the fool doesn't necessarily have a lot. For some of you, it may be dealing with travel, okay? Passports, birth certificates, social security cards, things of that nature, green cards, immunization records, all of that kind of stuff. I keep hearing, is it cool? Is it cool? I don't know if they ask you, is it cool if I come? You know, is it cool? You know, living with these... For somebody, there's another woman, another mate involved. There may be a standoff here. You know them feminines, they be knowing now with somebody else. They be knowing. <laughs> Even if they don't see the female, they be knowing. But again, this judgment, again, the moon in Taurus, we was talking about, uh, now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters. You're going to be judging that. This is the time. Do I have the money? It's financial. Okay? Conflict. The steps to take to acquiring and achieving this goal or going forward, you know, because I feel like for somebody, this may end up in a marriage. The three of scepters. I'm seeing Sagittarian energy, also Aries energy, taking the leadership, is viewing, viewing, viewing the stars, uh, particularly your natal birth to see where you are, uh, to see what takes place. Um, again, this could be, um, you know, your celebrities and stars now are all on YouTube. They're not necessarily the way it used to be. Um, it could be somebody that you know online that's a star celebrity. It turns out to be supported, blessed energy. It turns out to be part of your breakthrough. Watching this person, let me show you something. Watching this person that loves you or you love them, I don't know which one it is, but I want to show you something that stands out to me. You see? You see how he's focused on that star? Focusing on that star. For some of you, this is telescopes, studying the star, actually studying the sky, okay? But this is watching out for somebody, waiting on them. Because maybe they 
teaching you things, how to empower yourself. You know, words are magical. And this is kind of like um, feeling encouraged to make moves. That's why you need to watch this person, you know, because whoever you watch, that's a, I still feel like they're like some type of celebrity or public public figure, okay? An icon, a public figure, somebody that's in, that's in the public, okay? Uh, that kind of uh, encourages you and enlightens you, that pushes, pushes you on your path, kind of like the one that's being birthed, the birth on the 28th. Here I am, let me help you, let me guide you. I have the intuition to show you what you need to do to push you where you need to go, okay? Now, I don't know if this is you to the public or the, someone else for you, but the magic is in the words. The magic is in showing you how and leading, guiding, guiding and coaching, okay? Guiding and coaching. That's the magic here, okay? You have several options, but it comes like, like out of nowhere. You know, everything just changes, Everything that you knew before, you don't know anymore. You know, uh, uh, knowledge, ancestral knowledge. And we was talking about the ancestors. Ancestral knowledge would do that to you. Everything that you knew from this moment to the past, you won't know anymore. Because the origins of knowledge steps in. That's the magic. Okay? That's the magic. But whatever it is, it's leading some of you to a good night's sleep. Okay? Because this look like this is some good loving right here. When I say this look like romance, this is romance at its finest. Whoever this is, they are very romantic. They know how to romance you. That in and of itself is magic. Sex is magic. Okay? Sex is magic. Let's sum it up. So I'm going to read these questions to you again. Things you want to do before the night is over. <laughs> you probably want a romance. <laughs> Things that tire you out. Probably all this romance and this, and this traveling and this you know, and the going out for what you want can be tiresome as well. You know, that's why you need to retreat sometime, take a break. I know the source be telling me to do that because I will work myself mentally and physically. And you be like, you need, we, we, since you don't listen, we're going to send something your way to obstruct you. You know, and when you look at it, you be like, you know, I can be grateful for that. You know, this, this leaving and getting away may be the retreat. Because wherever you're going, you're going to be learning something, okay? But there is a conflict here. There may be a little bit of intimidation or jealousy, you know, because uh, maybe you're the one or this person is the one. And women know when a man is fine as hell and, they, and all the women want him. <laughs> I swear. Here we go. You got the circle. Mm, the circle is considered complete. You know, this is a 360, okay? Coming back 360. Got, ooh, you got the ox, too. It's your underlining energy. Ooh. And to me, the ox deal with work, okay? It deals with work. You have octopus, ostrich, otter, and olive. Wow. Ox. To me, the ox. That's earth. That's money. That's wealth. You may be walking into this. Money and wealth with this connection. See, you have the king of, king of wands. Success. King of wands is, is, is successful in his own right. Ooh. Okay. This will complete you. This is the cycle of life. Whatever it is, it's going to complete you. It's coming back. I told you, for some of you, this is a lover you already know. It's coming around full circle. And whoever's in this leadership position, even if it's a company, you're going to have some options to go to, okay? 
And I feel like the magic in, the, in, in all of this is what you print, what you speak, interviews, uh, how you come across, the words, the right words that you use, the right moves that you make, okay? For others of you, there has been some type of magic being played on you and played on your wheel, okay? I don't know this dark and light magic. I have no idea because I see both. Let's get you a spirit five reading word. Let's see what goes with this spirit five reading word. Birth of born on the 28th, dear source. Birth of born on the 28th, dear source. Reading word. Birth of born on the 28th. Ooh, it says, if you truly loved yourself, you can never hurt another. Underlining that, be your own artist and always be confident in what you are doing. Aretha Franklin, okay? Be your own artist and always be confident in what you are doing, okay? Aretha Franklin. So we talk about this magic and stuff and, and, and you know, whether or not it's black or white. Uh, it may be, like I told you, somebody's been using magic against you. And that's why I see this dark and light here, this dark magic and this light magic. And taking this leap of faith and this jump into something else or going somewhere else going to lead you into light magic. The instant gratification. Somebody's exploring or experiencing instant gratification, probably through this magic. You know, some people do want to try to force you to love them, or they want to force your will so they can use you because you have something that they need. Let's get you a ruin. See what your fate. Birth and born, top to bottom. Birth or born on the 28th, any month, any year, dear source. What is the fortune? Top to bottom, birth and born, please. This special report. For birth, you have the Burkana. For born, you have the Theresa. Th Theresa. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Looks like it's come from Thursday. Burkana for the birth, it deals with birth general fertility, both mental and physical and personal growth, liberation, regenerative property, I'm sorry, regenerative power and light of spring, renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth. We just covered all of that. I like that. Birth, general fertility, both mental and physical and personal growth, liberation, Regenerative power and light of spring. Renewal, promise of new beginnings and new growth. And this may be coming from this person that's giving you this, these options, okay? The promise of new beginnings in this, in this fool as well. And this right here, I'm hearing this, this just dawns on you that you need to make this move. That you need to let all of this go and start over. Because this is a new start, but it's conflicting, okay? It's conflicting. That's why you're getting judgment. You need to weigh everything. You may already be in this process when this happens, when this love thing happens, because you're definitely under arrested development, okay? Building and, 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 and storing and saving, Okay? Or maybe you realize that's what you need to do because you know a change going to come. Okay. For born on the 28th, reactive force. Did I say radioactive? Reactive force. Directed force of destruction and defense. Conflict. <laughs> Instinctual will. Vital eroticism. Mm. Regenerative catalyst. A tendency toward change. I am no fabrication. This just basically um, reinforce what I said. Reactive force, 
directed force of destruction and defense, conflict, instinctual will, vital eroticism, regenerative catalyst, a tendency towards change. And that regenerative catalyst, is I see that in the king of scepters, okay? Because he is a catalyst to, to change. Whatever that is, whether it's technical, you know, whether it's educational, uh, whatever it is, a catalyst to change. He's a pioneer. Okay. With all that said, let's see what's going on with the chakras. Top and bottom, please, source. Birth and born on the 28th, any month, any year. What is the chakra message? They go one for birth and it feels right on um, on the judgment card. Hmm, that's interesting. And the question, what do you want to do before the night or something? Well, I can't read that. Okay, there you go. So for birth, Oh, they're both purple, and that's something. Both dealing with the seventh chakra, okay? And it deals with meditation and silence. I sit still in meditation regularly, as I know there is power in silence. I seek out stillness during some part of every day. In the silence, I am open to receive without asking and without expectation. In the silence, I will hear and see the truth. Rest tranquility and peace are rejuvenating to my spirit miraculous emotional mental and physical healings are available when i am open to receive and we touched bases on that earlier about you being open to receive you standing still you being like samuel here i am here i am lord okay here i be for the born on the 28th, you have bliss. I seek and find peace, quietness, and moments of bliss in my life. I am persistent in this quest. I allow myself to feel divine presence radiating within and around me. I allow myself to create abundance and fulfillment and to live a life free of fear. Did we talk about being scared as opposed to fear? Meditation is a part of my life. Meditation, okay? Taking some time to think through your thoughts, to, to be clear. I feel like for some of you, that's why you're going to get this realization. It's going to change everything. You're going to know what to do. You're going to know what walk to take, what direction to go in. And this takes courage and faith and belief in yourself. Let's get a couple of um, gemstones. Let's see if it's going to work, help work your, your spirit, your nerves, your mental, physical. Okay, that's one. That's for birth. Now for borns. Okay. So for the birth side, you have rubelites. Rubelites. Like a piece of uh, cucumber, doesn't it? But then these look like gems. So cool. Okay. And it's dealing with the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is a heavy burden. Got to pick up your cross and follow, follow your Christ, right? Okay, here we are. The rubelite is a stone of love. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Let me turn it around. All right. The rubelite is a stone of love. It sends a rosy ray of love and healing to the disappointed, closed heart. This may, that may be that magic. Okay, that's coming from that magic. Okay. This makes it easier for you to accept yourself once again. Aversions and prejudices are gradually overcome. The heart 
can open up again and let love flow. And for me, that's kind of put me in the mind of this. It's just allowing people, you know, they're yelling at you, they're talking about you, they're trying to scare you, they're making fun of you, and you're just allowing it. Just taking it in, tormented souls, you understand, okay? You're not trying to fight them because they're too busy fighting with themselves, okay? The heart open, I'm sorry, the, the heart can open up again and let love flow. It deals with stress, overburden, hopelessness, and pressure, and difficulties, loss, intrigues, freeing yourself from pressure. On the born side, we have sugar light. Okay, sugar light. That's cute. We got rude, rude in the hurricane. That's, that's befitting. And then we have the chariot. Okay, the chariot. Apart from its intensive valid rays, intensive valid rays that lead us to a greater spirituality, this stone teaches us humility. It brings us into harmony with ourselves, eliminates doubts, and guides us to greater satisfaction and self-control. It deals with self-control, harmony, success, spirit of enterprise, Balance of opposites, honor, discovering yourself through your own deeds, finding an equilibrium between body and mind. It deals with failure, mistakes, neglect, flight, overestimation of one's own capabilities, quarrelsomeness, unclear objectives. And I saw all of that in these cards, particularly on the born side, okay? This is really good. Let's get your affirmation and then we're going to close the report. If you have not supported the station already, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and make yourself at home become a subscriber, okay? Be a member of the family. Give me two, dear source, top and bottom for birth and born on the 28th, all right? Any month, any year. Maybe a business was born on this day. A relationship may have been born on the 28th. You know, people keep up with dates, particularly feminines. They be knowing what date they, they had their first kiss. <laughs> okay. So, for the first side, today I believe. Today I will see the miracles and love surrounding me. Okay, Cinderella. All right. Today I believe. Today I will see the miracles and love surrounding me. That may be part of the magic as well. It's the miracles. Okay, miracles are magic. They are magical, okay? For the born on the 28th, today I am brave. Wow, today I will step up to every challenge with courage. Today I am brave, okay? This could be a challenge right here, okay? Okay? Today I am brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage, okay? With courage. And we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for tuning in to So Special here with the Spiritual Bee. Um, I can't wait to bring another report. What that will be, I don't know because I totally rely on the inner source to guide me on what messages that I need to present from day to day or week to week or whenever, whenever. But I truly enjoy your presence and I hope to see you again. Until the next one, 